Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Win streak zero, that doesn't feel right. No lost, no lost, no lost, no lost. Probably not the lost Azazel. Wouldn't it be nice to be Azazel? Then we wouldn't have to sweat the run. Z6XA, A0, K2. Do you know K2 is the second tallest mountain in the world? For some reason, so many people think K2 is in fucking Switzerland. It's in Pakistan, dog. To, they're very far apart on a, you know, an international scale. So I'll admit that occasionally I am guilty of um, playing... Why not? Let's be weird. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't actually ruin Brimstone. It just gives us something to do when we charge. Tech 2, and people are going to rake me over the fucking coals if I get this one wrong. So let's hope that I got it right. Tech 2... Lowers our damage by 35%. Tech 1 does nothing. Can I have my gold star for actually getting something right in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth for once? So technically, this is probably a net negative, except for the fact that I can shoot while charging. But my charge time is so low right now that it doesn't seem like that matters all that much. So I lowered my damage to have a small amount of maybe increased utility might be the way to describe it. But I kind of like it. And plus, the, I guess the other benefit about technology too is that if we actually want to stay far away from enemies, say, wall crawlers, for example, this will allow us to hit enemies from afar. And then when we get close, we can give them the Azazel Brimstone, which, you know, has a little bit of a mom's knife kind of feel to it. Yeah, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm actually feeling like we got kind of a... Like, the Azazel thing is like our shotgun sidearm, and then the uh, Technology 2 is like a sniper rifle. I also hope that you will forgive me because I probably will end up taking advantage of the mechanics of boss rush here. That's just what you do as a Zazel in most situations. You know, you start with the fool card. I think they give that card to you for what I consider to be a fairly obvious reason. But anyway, this is already a, a fairly unique Azazel run. Come on, sure. It's already a fairly unique Azazel run. Just based on the fact that we uh, have a second beam weapon to go along with it, I would say it's a very good Azazel run. I'm not going to take... Cursed Skull. I kind of wish that we got a key out of that, but we could still get into that item room with just a little bit of luck. I'm going to slow down. I'm talking a little bit too loud. Or not too loud, but too fast. And I think that's because my brain is subconsciously like, hey, you're on a speed run right now. So I want to take it down, baby. We're going to put on some berry White and just relax a little bit. Flush is... Uh, I would consider it... Uh, slightly better than Necronomicon on the ranking scale. Oh man, Goathead right off the bat is so good. So yeah, I'd consider it slightly better than Necronomicon, which is not necessarily that encouraging. You know, if you've heard me talk about Necronomicon, I think that item is relatively bad, but without another spacebar item, it's kind of okay. I hope that we get some HP or maybe like a squeezy or something so we can make better do of this and deal with the devil we're inevitably going to get. Uh, I'm going to keep myself as far away from these guys as is possible and just take advantage of the fact that we do have technology too. We could also just pop flush and uh, nuke all of the silkworms down, but that won't be necessary as you can tell. We did get some HP. A little bit left to explore on this floor. May consider it. I, I'm not sure if I like or hate fighting Krampus early, but I guess since we have pretty good damage because we're a Zazel anyway, let's get the Krampus tax out of the way and then we'll never have to worry about it again. Lump of Coal, people have told me it does nothing with Brimstone, so I'm going to assume that it does nothing with the Brimstone that we have as a Zazel, but it might give us a little extra damage with technology too. That's another thing that I'll have to ask the community for some feedback for. Can you check the wiki for me real quick and then, uh, you know, send me a tweet over at twitter.com slash northernlionlp. That's how I see the majority of the information here. Have I gotten through the first two floors of an Isaac run without making a statement that's factually incorrect? I find that hard to believe. Ruka, you stay out of it, okay? All right, well, I almost walked into that spike, but apart from that, you know, I'm not going to say this has necessarily been a perfect Azazel run so far, but it's been pretty good. Goathead early on. Go like, Goathead is probably the item in the game whose usefulness, or witch's usefulness? That doesn't really make any sense. It's the item in the game whose usefulness uh, fluctuates more than any other item, depending on when you actually get it. You know what? There you go. You can still break that poop if you want. We might as well with technology, I guess. Uh, I, I didn't realize that the flush poop could actually pay out. Ruka, what is your problem, dog? 
I, the Pringles has a new snack food product. This is not a sponsored video, but I am a fan of the Pringles company and its hashtag brand. Um, they have a new snack food product called Pringles Sticks, which are kind of like, you know, Japanese pretz style snacks. Uh, and I've been trying them out a little bit. Woke up this morning to our cat throwing up and the Pringle Sticks package on the floor. It didn't appear that any of them had been consumed. And maybe it's just because they were consumed so fully that there was no evidence left. And then Ruka's been meowing like crazy. He seems healthy. We, we take very good care of our cats and pay attention to their health. So I'll be uh, monitoring his behavior closely, but man, if he gets sick, what a waste of, uh, what a waste of Pringles sticks with an X, I think. Anyway, would I recommend Pringles sticks? Eh, I think you're better off probably just getting regular Pringles. That's my philosophy. A bomb? Ah, oh, good. That's actually an awesome situation. We traded one key for three keys, a bomb, and a damage upgrade. And we have no real need to, like, rush through things right now. Not that that's ever stopped me before, I guess. Uh, that's not too fantastic. With a deal with the devil on every single floor, we can expect to find ourselves in a pretty good position. We can fly, so uh, that's not that big of a deal. The, the creep from Ultra Pride is usually the thing that bungs you up, but we don't really need to worry about that. Excuse me. Uh, what we do need to worry about is getting to our shop as quickly as possible. And now, because I've been a little bit audacious and taken the left hand, we're going to have to worry about dropping that before the chest. But actually, this could be a run where maybe it might be convenient. I love doing that. <laughs> it might be convenient for me to use the dark room. I'll take BFF. Make little Steven a little bit better. And uh, it, it doesn't bore me a little bit like the stopwatch does. Stopwatch is it's not an okay item. It's, an, it's a great item, and that's what makes it somewhat annoying to take sometimes. So we're not going to get anything of value out of this boss fight, except for whatever consumables might come up at the end. But uh, we will get a deal with the devil afterwards. Let's hope that maybe I know what I'm getting into. We only have one HP. Let's, let's be weird. I'm not going to take Guppy's Hairball. We only have... I'm not going to take Lord of the Pit for what I assume are obvious reasons, but... Um, I'm not going to take Guppy's Hairball because it would put us a little lower on HP. Plus, with Goathead, this should allow us to permanently get Angel deals. Well, not permanently because there's no such thing as Angel Room precedent. But um, it should give us a chance at getting Angel Room deals. And I don't really need to become Guppy to win on this run, so why don't we mess with the formula a little bit, you know? Ah, and there's Holy Mantle. So I'm going to treat that as the Divine rewarding us for being a little bit more adventurous. And we'll move on here. We're at six minutes, six and a half. Done with the third floor. Set up very nicely from a damage standpoint. Would like to replace our space bar item, but everything else is pretty much working out the way that you would want it to work out on an Azazel run. Not that you need that much in order to make that actually happen. We will totally go to our cursor room. If we start getting guppy items, well, I guess I'll be a little salty about that, but that's okay. I expect that I'm not going to be uh, attracting too much hate for not taking guppy's hairball, considering the... Annoyance that it seems to cause people when I do take guppy items. Not that that's why I didn't take it. That is also not a guppy item. Kind of tempted to fool a card out of here, but... Look at, like, this is the damage that we're doing with Technology 2. Which is worse than the damage that we do with our Brimstone Laser, obviously. But, uh, also is completely risk-free for me. Or, like, largely risk-free for me, so... I'm really happy with this position that we found ourselves in. Because the big problem with Azazel is normally that your range is terrible, so you've got to get right up in enemy faces. I don't need to get right up... Wow. Thank you, Holy Mantle, for making me feel like less of an idiot. I don't need to get right up in enemy faces anymore, and that makes my life a hell of a lot easier. That should be it right there, and we did find our secret room completely by accident. And we picked up a Spirit Heart. Why, why waste my only bomb in this situation? You can take the Northern Lion out of the dumb, but you can't take the dumb out of the Northern Lion. Speaking of which, that sentence makes literally no sense. Alright. I just made one cent, though, and somehow didn't take damage. Thank you, Holy Mantle. I guess it's not somehow. It's like literally Holy Mantle. Flush is... It has a large enough... What's this? Two of diamonds. Eh, not immediately useful, but we'll try to use it at some point here. Flush is good enough, and it has a high enough charge time that I'd rather um, save it for a great usage if possible. Like a room with a ton of enemies on it is is my ideal use. 
Or this room, for example. Um, but we've already killed half the enemies. I mean, that's the problem as Azazel, is that you kill enemies so quickly that really, you know, if you don't use flush right away, you're never going to get a good opportunity to do so. Kind of a double-edged sword. I'd rather have it this way than not have it this way, though. We could use flush to clear out the riffraff after we finish off this. But again, we can pretty much just stand as far back as possible and make it happen anyway. So let's take our HP, and our deal with the angel is going to be for rosary. Which I'm not going to take because it's just going to fuck up our, our items. I know that seems ridiculous, like Northern Lion is not going to take any items this time. Hear me out here on the math. I could be very wrong about it, but I don't think I am. If we pick up the Rosary, we'll get a Spirit Heart and a half because we're already nearly at the HP cap. That also means that at some point, we will lose an item pedestal to... Uh, I don't really care about that that much. We'll lose an item pedestal to... The Bible. If we ignore the Rosary... We lose the item pedestal that the Rosary's on, but we never lose another one for the Bible. So, considering we're almost at the HP cap anyway, to me it kind of seems like it's in our best interest to just hold off and maybe get a better deal with the Devil item anyway. Now, of course, the, the problem with this is that we could just end up getting the Bible anyway. Or even getting the Rosary again on, like, another Angel Room. That's worth it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but my hope is that that's not going to happen. And again, you know, we're playing as Azazel, so I think we have a little bit of leeway for what we, uh, what we can do here. We're at 10 minutes. Boss Rush still very much on the table. Um, the Rainbow Baby pickup, it's fine. I think you know uh, well enough to know that it's not that good, but it's one of the better baby familiars. Certainly not bottom tier, maybe middle tier. And we may, if we get super lucky, actually have enough money to make our shop worthwhile via that uh, Two of Diamonds card, but we'd probably need to pay out right here. Well, we got Guppy's Paw. And I found pills. So there's one Guppy item, so I'm feeling not so great about that. There's not really much point in using Guppy's Paw, because we we're already at the HP cap anyway. Now, I want to reiterate, I'm not avoiding... Yeah, let's just take this. I'm not avoiding the... Uh... Rosary because of Angel Room Precedent. Because I know now that Angel Room Precedent is not a thing that actually exists. We got 10 keys. We might as well check it out in here, right? I thought maybe we'd get something on half price. Um, we don't really need anything that's on sale here. A bomb might be worthwhile, but I'd probably just waste it trying to find a secret room or something. Really amazing run so far. Can't complain uh, basically at all about anything that's happening right now. Curse of the Maze is kind of a meaningless curse as far as I'm concerned right now. Just try to time it so we get out of the way of that champion swallowed penny not that useful now the ideal situation would be if we didn't pay for guppy's hairball which we already you know mission accomplished if we didn't pay for guppy's hairball and we still became guppy just through left hand the odds of that happening are diminished like a cord but uh, not so bad we got holy mantle so I can come into this room as much as I want so that would have made us guppy I'm starting to think the dream to become Guppy is, is real whether we want it to be or not. And I do still want it to be, but we'll see. You know, I've gotten into the habit lately of calling one runs. I think I would call this one already. Like, we're, we're just stupid powerful in all the right ways. Gemini's been showing up a lot or, every time, man. Pisces has not been showing up a lot lately. Uh, but it's okay. The, like, we don't get any knockback for it, but we will get a tears upgrade. Uh, it'll make our charge time a little faster. I would love to get Champion Belt. And that'll make that extremely easy to do. It's a little bit more damage, which is pretty much, like, arguably the only thing we really need right now, if we even need anything at all. Let's make our way to our boss, and, uh... You know, somewhat selfishly, I guess I am hoping for a deal with the Devil this time, so we have a better chance of getting a Guppy item and finishing our, uh triumvirate here. But if we get another deal with the angel, that's fine too. I wouldn't mind picking up Sacred Heart or Godhead or many other kind of items that can show up in there. The mind, the soul, not so much the body, I guess, at this point. I'll leave that to Jesse Ventura. That was a reference to his wrestling uh, persona. Not necessarily anything politically or otherwise that he's accomplished since then. That was almost terrible damage. Or almost, almost terrible damage, because I almost got hit, but I also have Holy Mantle. 
We did get a deal with the Devil with a speed upgrade. And at this point, I'm kind of feeling why not take Sister Maggie. Uh, one reason is that we lose Angel Room Precedence, but Angel Room Precedence doesn't... Well, I mean, Angel Room Precedence doesn't exist, but the Angel Rooms had their chance to be good, and they presented me with Jack and shit combined in the form of the... Uh, the Rosary. Big room would be awesome. Oh, no. It would be awesome to use flush here, but it doesn't work, unfortunately, against uh, boss targets. Even on rooms where they're not the actual boss. Holy Mantle got popped. That's, uh, like, 100% my own fault. And that's the first damage I've taken in quite some time. It hurts a little bit. Our timing is still going pretty well here, though. We're on Depths 1. Uh, boss Rush is going to happen. I don't need to rush to make it happen. I can just make it happen. So I will. You're not going to explode. You create creep. I can see forever. That's going to help out. And a health upgrade. Basically paid for Sister Maggie and took us nearly back to the HP cap. There's our secret room. Secret room contains more pills. Hematemesis. Basically takes us to full health. Range down. Eh. Tears down and range down. I mean, it hurts a little bit, but it's not that, that bad. So I'm just going to move us to the exit. There's another room that we have yet to explore, but not that big of a deal. Uh, in the face of uh, guaranteeing that we get a free boss item. Sorry for mentioning it. Uh, or a free item from the boss rush, I, sh I should say. Um, plus, we'll get the second secret room right over here, presumably. And there it is. And it's a black card. All right. So we're going down to the next floor, and I'll try to do the dark room on this one. Just because we can, and there should be pretty much no negative consequences to doing so. Let's take the big room to use flush, maybe. Yeah, that accomplished that pretty quickly. That room can be annoying, so I don't mind skipping it. I kind of wish I had less HP so I could go to our boss rush room. I always, like, I take the attitude early on that more HP is better, and sometimes it does end up screwing me. A little bit. We might still be able to get into that room, who knows. For now, this fool card is about to get a workout. Rocks are kind of like our biggest enemy with this technology tube problem. But uh, locks, on the other hand, are very easy for us to deal with because we have 12 keys. If only we could turn rocks into locks and vice versa. Alright, this is weird, but maybe excellent. We got teleported to our deal with the devil where we're going to get Abaddon, which I'll just pick up right away. We were already at the HP cap, but we might as well fill up entirely with black hearts. We also got Dead Sea Scrolls, which I'm not going to take. <laughs> I mean, Flush is not very good, but Flush will also never use Kamikaze on us by accident, so there's something to be said for that. Are you a wizard? Basically meaningless, because we have a beam weapon that goes straight. Abaddon's going to really buff up our damage, which is obviously like the principal use of it, but also putting us in permanent Polaroid invincibility state, or I guess in this case, permanent like Necronomicon whatever state via the negative. Permanent negative Necronomicon. It's a little harder to roll off the tongue, but I've had more practice with permanent Polaroid invincibility, so that is probably one reason for that. Holy wa I, there's no reason not to take Holy Water at this point. At least this will keep it out of Angel Rooms if somehow we do encounter Angel Rooms in the future. I was hoping this would be a greed fight, actually, because we didn't have enough money to buy anything anyway, so we might as well pick up some money and be able to use it on Judgments in the future. Missing page two. Or, that's just missing page, sorry. Not that immediately useful. I don't know what happens if we use flush here. I think if there's no enemies on the screen, it doesn't hit the enemies that are, like, waiting in the wings. Alright. I am not a fan of the wall masters. I'm pretty lucky, though. Like, Technology 2 is already... Well, I guess we've had some decent upgrades for it, so already seems like it's kind of the wrong thing to say, but we've had some good upgrades for it, uh, to the point where it's... If we didn't have Brimstone or Azazel's Brimstone, whatever you want to call it, I would still feel like we're in a great position right now. So we've got so much time, I feel like I should probably backtrack and, and cover almost everything, or it, literally everything, if we can do so. Uh, I'll go back and get that penny, just in case it ends up being useful, but the main reason I'm going back here is because we do have that boss trap room. And now that I've got permanent spirit hearts and no red hearts, I can go to that boss trap room and maybe have a good chance to snag a guppy item. And with Holy Mantle, I can go to the Curse Room guilt-free. So we'll do so. Uh, I'll use a bomb, even though we might be able to walk through that stuff. I, I hit it out of the way. That's my own fault. Let's kick this one in the middle. Just to be sure. 
not guppy items. Okie dokie. See, Tech 2 is already doing like a pretty good number in its own right. We're definitely going to be able to do boss rush and do our due diligence, which is awesome. And that's just spiders, but I mean, those spiders are going to be doing a decent amount of damage. But of course, I was looking for a little bit more out of this room. That's okay, we're almost done with it anyway. Loki is uh, probably substantially easier than the Dark One. And three hits is enough to finish the job there. We picked up another key. Now we'll go fight Mom and pretty much repeat the same process. I mean, this is, a, this is a run that is ours to lose. Never understood that expression, it's ours to lose. Isn't it always yours if you lose? If you lose, you always get the loss. I, I know what it means in practice, I just don't... It, idioms, man. There's no place like home. What about, like, what if you get a new home? Doesn't make... Anyway, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Is that based on, like, reality? Is, there's not that many, like, native English-speaking countries that continue to eat horses these days, but there are countries in the world where horse represents a, a part of the diet, you know? We gotta, we gotta talk to Miriam in, and or Webster and sort this shit out. Okay, we're gonna take the negative, and we gotta remember to go down. We've already been in here, haven't we? Yeah, we got Sister Maggie. Loki's Horns, Concussive Tears, Triple Shot, D100. We have never done a D100 run on camera, I think. So I think we gotta go full D100, full card out, re-roll our entire run. We'll still have the Brimstone Laser unless we have bombs. I think we have Proptosis right now, so that's awesome. We still have a decent chance to become Guppy. Our HP is all sorts of fucked up right now, but that's okay. So the D100, if you're not familiar with what it is, it re-rolls... Oh, we don't need that HP, actually. It, it has the effects of all the dice at the same time. So it uses the D4... The D100, well, sorry, the D4, the D6, and the D20. D4 rerolls your whole run. D6 rerolls the items that are on pedestals, and D20 rerolls the consumables on the ground. I have had a D20 run. Oh man, the Proptosis laser is so good. I have had a D20 run as Azazel once before. It was on a stream, though. Um, it's actually like it's the worst character to experience the D20. Or sorry, the D. Pardon me. It's the worst character to experience the D100, because you get to keep the laser most of the time. Unless you get Epic Fetus or Fetus in a Jar, you're constantly going to be having Azazel's laser nonetheless. That being said, you can get some really cool effects for it, and as you can see, you can get some absolutely absurd damage. Like right now, we are rolling with Azazel's laser, it looks like Infestation 2, and uh, Proptosis, which basically means we're one-shotting enemies. Let's do this now and change it up. All right, now we have Bob's Brain. Uh, brimstone, no, 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 we don't have, we have Little Brimstone, and we have Anti-Gravity Tears. It's hard to tell too much more than that, but we are back to full HP. Uh, our Little Brimstone is doing a lot of damage, as is our Truncated Brimstone with Anti-Grav. If you haven't seen that impact, or that effect before, I have had it before. Maybe it's, it's not just anti-grav, but I think it's a uh, mom's eye as well. For better or for worse. It is, it's a little harder to hit enemies. <laughs> oh, we have Taurus too. And guillotine, I, I just noticed that. Uh, it's a little harder to hit enemies that are very mobile. But if you can get an enemy to follow you into a general direction here, you're gonna be in a good position. I took D100 for the absurdity, not for the strategy, because you know, if you're if you're on a run that's pretty much guaranteed to win, the only thing D100 can do for you is turn a win into a loss. If you're only worried about winning, that's probably a terrible decision. So Triagnid, uh, relatively low HP, should be pretty easy for us to do what we want to do here. Kill the spider by accident. Taurus is going to finish the job one way or the other. Because Sacrificial Dagger plus any kind of invincibility works very well. Wow, we didn't finish the job. We actually got hit. And we are going to get a damage upgrade. I guess we want to re-roll the nail, so we might as well use D100 and get the shovel. Beautiful. So now we have uh, Tech Point 5, which is really good. Rotten Baby. Gemini, of course. Really, really low range. But I'm going to assume that with Tech Point 5, we basically have an enormous DPS output. Which is great. We also have uh, Blood of the Martyr, I think. Yeah. I mean, with Azazel, 
it's really hard to to fuck up a run to the point where oh we have daddy long legs too to fuck up a run with um and stompy of some kind uh, to fuck up a run with d100 to the point where you're just going to lose for sure um that happens all the time with other characters but uh with azazel as long as you get to keep your brimstone laser you're probably in a pretty good spot we will, statistically speaking, probably reroll into Dr. Fetus once, and that'll be a little bit more of a challenge, but apart from that, uh, I think we're still pretty much set here. I know there was a battery. I'm a little bit wary about doing too many rerolls just on the off chance we did so many that we just end up pulling breakfast out of the pool. So I'll just stick to the normal rerolls that we have. What do we have this time? Samson's Chain, uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend, Ares, pretty much the same uh, range of Brimstone Laser that you start with. And kind of poor damage, honestly. Blue Baby's only friend helped out. I mean, we should probably get those keys. I'm being a little lazy. I think we might have Spectral Tears as well. Not that that's useful for us. Well, I picked up the battery, and I hate this this loadout, so let's do this one. Higher range now. Mom's wig. Much lower speed. That's all right. And we have the compass, apparently. We should probably play this Judgment, although, you know, no matter what we get from this Judgment, it's going to reroll into something else anyway, but at least it gives us one more thing to reroll. Do we have Nod Leaf? Yeah, yeah, we have Nod Leaf. I really don't like that item, uh, for the most part. Not that I think it's bad, I just think it's annoying. But, um, sure, you know, technically we could just stand still and let BBF tackle every single enemy that we face. If we wanted to have the lamest fights of all time. Please, have mercy. Anything at all, really? What? Oh, I, I thought he paid out with nothing. He actually paid out with Butterbean. Which is worse than nothing. Oh, we have Sad Bombs as well. So this is a pretty good loadout. BBF plus any kind of bomb synergy is awesome. Our damage seems actually kind of shitty here. I wonder if you can ever D100 into, like, Missing No. Oh, the Wallmasters are dead. Okay. So I, I don't really relish the thought of fighting It Lives with as little damage as we have, but it should still be totally fine. Especially if we get lucky and have the bomb actually land in the center, but I guess we can just use our sad bombs as is to do a decent amount of damage. And if BBF could actually hit, that would be even better. It doesn't even necessarily need to hit Mom's heart. I'll kick it in. That was scary. It could just, like, hit an enemy and then explode elsewhere. Oh god. Good, a Skype message. I wonder who this could be from. Let's move it back here, please. Frame rate still sucks, okay. Uh, it's from Mathis Games. He says, is there any randomization in the dungeon layout in Darkest Dungeon? I will, I'll get back to him at a later date. I think we're just ready to head to, not the cathedral, not the cathedral, we're headed down. Whew. <laughs> that could have been bad. Thanks a lot, Matt. This almost straight up ruined my run. Uh, please. Thank you. Spiders. Spiders, finish the job. Uh, we are going to... We're going to reroll our whole run, but we're going to wait for one more room, I guess, just in case our next reroll ends up being shitty. But we're going to go to the curse room. We don't have Holy Mantle anymore. It's okay, though. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm too slow to get out of the way of that. My positioning was bad, but also I'm too slow. Careful. Um, oh my god. You gotta be kidding me with this. This dude is actually gonna get himself removed from my friends list. I'm not actually gonna do that. That's just the emotions talking right now. I'm Believe you me, I was set into Do Not Disturb as well. Careful. Uh, this is not a good position for me to be in. So this is going to hurt, but when we re-roll, we'll probably end up re-rolling close to full HP anyway. And um, we got a Spirit Heart. Let's re-roll. Yeah, it re-rolled us straight to full HP. We're so fast. Uh, it takes 100 years to charge our shot. Yeah, it takes a long time to charge our shot. But we do also have Death's Touch. And Robo Baby. Okay, so our damage is great. So I'm willing to stick with this for now. I don't like crushing these rocks. These rocks are kind of my safe haven. You know what? I think I am going to reroll this run. Good damage, but the rate of fire is just crazy. Well, good rate of fire out of technology, but that did override our brimstone. 
We have Mom's Contact, though, which is a pretty nice get for it. Where is... Okay, our boss fight's all the way up there. I feel like we've made some not-so-fantastic uh, moves via the D100 here. As you can see, like, our damage is not blowing the doors off anymore, and I'm not feeling as excited about going to the dark room, but this is the... Oh, gotta get my mouse pointer off the screen. I apologize so much. As always, hashtag blame Mathis for that bullshit. I, I thought that was double fallen. I didn't realize it was fallen uh, dark one. Do we have the enemy? There he is. Oh, we also have Robo Baby 2.0. I wonder if we could set up like a sweet crossfire or something. Well, one fallen should not be that bad for us. I would like to stop taking damage, but D100 almost always gives us some heal. Basically, because it gives us HP upgrades in the rerolls that count as one heart. I think that's why it works anyway. And this should give us full Guppy as well. Guppy doesn't get taken away from us. So no matter what, we should be creating flies. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're totally set now. Unless we get a run where somehow our primary tiers don't generate flies and we don't have any kind of secondary tiers. But this certainly ups our DPS, and I'm glad we got those Guppy items. When we did, that'll insulate us from a little bit of the concerns that we might have had here. Tears down, probably not a pill I'm too interested in. But who knows, maybe we reroll into Virgo at some point. Or PhD, for that matter. I'm gonna fight Satan with our existing loadout, and then we'll reroll on the next floor. Don't, no need to muck about with bombs or anything like that, I think, considering how crazy our damage is going to be. Just want to get the guaranteed Satan kill, and then we'll... Um, mess around with the other uh, possibilities. I want to reroll anyway because we're going to keep Guppy and I could use the HP. Oh, that's going to hurt. Almost got the job done already. Robo Baby. Robo Baby finished it, I think. Okay. Down to the dark room. We'll open all the chests, I guess, and then reroll because we might be able to reroll the items that are in the chests if we don't want another Guppy item, for example. Or it'll reroll the consumables on the ground, too. Why not, right? It rerolled them into more red chests, which, in this case, might actually have items in them. No, but if we had dropped the left hand in between, they actually might have. So there you go, there's your drop the left hand for today. I thought it would be irrelevant, but maybe not. Uh, we rerolled as well, what do we have? We have an incredibly long charge time with what I can only hope is an incredibly high damage shot. It does appear to be. But there's some negative consequences to this. We are very, very slow on the shot here. Mind you, we did just one shot war. We have Fire Mind, I guess, as well. But we got to get real close, so a little bit scared about that. I'll be looking forward to the next reroll, to be honest with you. No reason not to take that bomb, but I didn't, so. Oh! I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Thank you, flies. Our flies are nice. I will miss the fly damage. Oh, there was a reason not to take that bomb. We were already at 99. Ten years behind me. Damage is not good. Oh, I didn't realize we had Dry Baby. The extra HP there is very useful. Uh, we've lost our compass and map, so we can't see where we're going, but we can assume that this is probably relatively right. Thank God for that HP. Oh, we have Isaac's Heart, too. That's always, like... It's the... Item from D100 that you don't want to get. It's like, you know, you're you're getting some jelly beans out of one of those, like, turn crank vending machines, and you just get a bunch of, like, black licorice ones. Well, we have money equals power, tiny planet, maybe even homing brimstone on this one. We do still have Isaac's heart. I guess that doesn't get rerolled. Um, that's pretty good. Oh, we have Dark Bomb, too. Which is useless, because we're at the HP cap. Uh, this is a pretty good reroll. I am going to continue to reroll just because it's fun, but this is one that if I was just going for the win, well, I guess we're going to be stuck with it, which is good. Um, we should pretty much have a guaranteed win here, largely as a result of the flies, but either way, I think we have Gimpy too. And Pyromaniac? Okay, so we're going to win. Pyromaniac basically guarantees it if it wasn't guaranteed already. Well, that run was a lot of fun and a very atypical Azazel run. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.